Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Greedfall, and we're about to do some Skullduggery. That will hopefully give us some leverage on Mother Cardinal. Now, trying to decide which is the closest travel point. And I think it's over here. Also, our Vigor is effectively three right now, so there's a lot of places we can go that we couldn't go before. So that'll be cool. Let's get rid of these money bags. <laughs> That was weird. It, I mean, I haven't really run across bandits in the city streets before. I mean, not since the coup. That was weird. They died like chumps. What level am I? What is the hotkey to get to my thing? Level 25. Where's the danger? Protect me in this battle! Okay, the new gun looks like it does significantly more damage. I may just be imagining, I may just not have paid attention to the old gun. Okay, so spacebar also gets me to that screen. Also, um, these were some really unwise bandits. They must just like try to assault everybody that comes out. It's like, oh look, it's a priest, a noble, and one of the natives. Those should be easy to. That's actually fairly logical. That yeah, that should be pretty easy fight. Should be. You know, those nobles are wimps, and it's just a priest, you know, not like a actual inquisitor with a full force or anything. It's just a priest. Okay. So... I could sell a bunch of stuff, and I want to, because I don't want... be weighed down by things like a bandit hat and get told oh you're overburdened suddenly okay okay I am liking this look Okay, let's go talk to a bookmaker. And of course he's in the tavern. That makes perfect sense. That's where the fights take place. I kind of forget what the strategy is. Oh, he's downstairs. I can't remember whether I'm supposed to win the fight or lose the fight. I think it's supposed to be a matter it's just a matter of timing. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager to fight. About the betting. On what could we be betting? On the fights in the arena. You never heard of them. Quite a few come here and bet fortunes. 
And do they win? A few do. Others have less luck. But they do get the thrill either way, you see. And that's all that counts. Oh, I think we're supposed to challenge the I champion. I want to challenge the champion of the arena. A champion? Really? Now, you were asking about Candy Cane. It wouldn't be him that sent you here by any chance. No. No one has sent me. I'm looking to make a reputation for myself. Ah. That sounds better. It's true, you have talent, and the public does like you. Let me see. You are gullible. There is Mr. <coughs> Guard, one of our old champions. It's been a while since he fought, but he did ask me to set something up for him. He's not a youngster anymore, but his name is known. <clears throat> and he's a killer. I'm warning you. This Briscard sounds like the perfect opponent. A deal! I'll work on getting things ready for the combat and line up the betting. Until then, make sure you're ready. It'll be a duel. Your friends will need to stay in their seats. As soon as you're ready, you'll just need to go and see the Arena Master. We should go and see Candy Cane so he can set up our deal. So when you win, she will lose her bet. Ah, uh, so that's what it is. They don't want the, uh, yeah, getting players to try to time a, a loss is a little bit difficult. Let's get rid of these money bags. What is it with people? Suddenly, all the cities have, like, uh... Bandits in the streets. Is things going that badly? Is this overflow from, um... Hikmet falling to the, uh, coin guard? It could be, or, you know, the... We've, we've had to get rid of a lot of the coin guards, so our law enforcement might be a little bit lacking. Interesting. Okay, where is our friendly neighborhood bookie? Are you kidding? Good grief, guys. Choose, be choose better targets than the heavily armored people. Again, though, this is not so much D&D. &D. I mean, I'm not... I, I, I'm. What I'm looking like is I have a lot of money rather than I'm carrying a lot of heavy armor... Uh, heavy... Um, I'm not like... You don't have, like, av obvious magic or anything like that. Candy Cane, you're dressed in red. Because of course you are. I'm gonna come over here and steal this. You again? What do you want this time? Let Petrus inter... So, my charisma is tells me to... Sure. So defensive. Petrus, you had a proposal to make, I believe. Please be successful. That's right. I've thought of a little scheme that could make us all very rich. You know me, so you also know I'm quite clever. And Why is my this my charisma? Always fruitful. They do say that you are devious. Perhaps too much so for your own good. Go on. My friend here loves the glory and sand of the arena. I've gained quite a reputation, but soon I'll be taking on a true champion. I am no fool, though. I know I won't hold up for long. Yeah, I've seen the odds. Everyone expects you to lose within a minute. So what? Let us suppose that our champion is a little less aggressive than usual. If the fight can last at least five minutes, an informed better would win the jackpot. And I'd keep a little of my pride. Very well. I'll arrange it. But no dirty tricks. Don't take advantage of the deal and try to beat the champion. If you do, he'll wipe the floor with you. You want to get your money. 
Don't get too greedy. Okay. Let's look at this. Convince Kenny Kane to talk to Mother Cardinal about you. Wait for the fight to take place. So we now get to wait 23 hours and 40, 54 minutes. Which means we're going to go to our residence. Eventually we're going to have to go to Hikmet. If for no other reason than to get more potions. Because we're running low. Let's get a little shaky here. And yeah, my FPS is a little bit on the red side according to my recording software. My, game, my computer can handle this fairly well. My computer can't handle this and my recording software all as well. Okay. Sure. One hour, five minutes, which means about a minute. A little bit less than a minute, really, because the minutes aren't are not seconds. They're faster than seconds. And Sister Eugenia is spending all her time reading stuff anyway, so eh, we have time. Okay. I did not push the button to go in there. Hello, Master Lorenz. Your Excellency, do you have news of my daughter? Not good news. I have grave news for you. Your daughter is dead. Dead? But it's not possible. I had to take her back. What should I do? I'm afraid you will have to go back to Teleme alone, sir. Sorry. What will I tell her mother? I have a, a little bit of... I have to wait 30 minutes, which means... Do, do, do. Okay, back to this. Okay. A little bit of a flub there. There's a guy over there drinking up a storm. And if we start working our way over here... Here we go. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? Oh, no. Leave. I must be going. Next time, then. Why are you shouting? It's not that loud. The coin arena. And our goal is to beat this guy soundly. Ready to excite the crowd. Ah, there you are. I was told you'd be taking on one of our old champions. Are you ready for the fight? Beware. Contrary to the challenges, this combat must be fought alone. Your friends must remain in the stands. Yes, I am ready. Oh, you want... So, jump into the arena. And may the better fighter win. Oh, I can't save. <laughs> Whoop, I'm going to have to reload now. Load, last save game. Let's see where that is. Okay, so we're going to save here. Oh, that's going to be painful. I'm going to speak to you. Ready to excite the crowd. Ah, the, are you ready for the fight? Your friends must... We're going to yes, fight now. I am ready. So. Uh. 
Uh, da, da, da. Anything else? Apparently not. There we go. What a brilliant spectacle. Congratulations on your victory. Yes, I used Thank magic. You. It wasn't easy. No, it took me a reload. And here are your winnings from the combat. <laughs> You've earned them. Bravo! A glorious victory, which is made all the sweeter by double compensation. <laughs> I don't believe I've ever seen you happier. The thought of holding something over Cornelia seems to do you wonders. That is true. Politics is an extremely subtle game, and just as satisfying as fighting in an arena. I imagine we need to go and see her now. Yes, and I hope you will enjoy the moment every bit as much as I will. Now hopefully we don't have a sequence break situation going on where we have to deal with Eugenia before we have to deal with her. Oh, this feels like a betrayal, though. <sighs> then again, Tulemi isn't that great. And Mother Cordelia has been letting an awful lot of judgmental and horrible stuff go on. With a pretty little face to it. By the way, what are my... Siora I only have friendly relations with. That's not good. I did something to peeve her off at some point. Okay. So if I go here... Go this way, I should be right on a line for the palace. I missed it without having to go through the place of punishment. No, I have to go through the place of punishment. There are people praying to the tied up dead Nike. That is a little bit disturbing. <laughs> there is no war in Bossing, say. Your Excellency, we were eagerly awaiting your arrival. Sister Eugenia was just recounting me the tale of your achievements oh, no. and telling me about the incredible discoveries you've made. These relics shed a new light on the last years of our founder. It all demonstrates that he hadn't evangelized the islanders, but on the contrary, he would even have adopted some of their rituals, merging the cult of the enlightened and the cult of nature in a single dogma. These discoveries, if they can be verified, are extraordinary. But they also represent a great upheaval that could harm our nation. We must first verify their authenticity. You are the only ones who entered this cave. Could what you have witnessed be a falsification? Um, let's talk about the Guardian. The entrance to the cave was protected by one of those giant creatures that the natives call the a dike. Nardike. These Nardike. guardians usually protect sacred places and let no one enter without a fight. I had to kill this beast, which leads me to think that nobody had entered the cave for a very long time. The cavern we discovered is located in a very remote place. There's no island or village nearby. It contains some ruined dwellings, but clearly no one has lived there for a very long time. Fraudsters would inevitably have left traces of their passage. And we have not found any. We discovered ancient frescoes on the walls of the cave. 
They represent Saint Matthias without a doubt. He's depicted with his chaplet. In one, he is praying for the divinity of the island. In the other, his face was being painted by a native. I understand how shocking these discoveries are, but their antiquity proves that they are genuine. The tablets found at the site, however, attest that our founder had not abandoned the cult of the enlightened. He simply saw it as two different reflections of the same divine power. The relics could be authentic, Your Excellency, but we only have your word to convince us. The political um. and religious impact of these discoveries will be unprecedented. We risk schism, civil war, and who is to say that this is not a plan to weaken us? Okay. Oh, that is intuition. That is her positive aspects. Okay. I'm going to go with intuition on this. I understand your doubts, Your Eminence. But you yourself asked me to conduct the investigation. It seems to me that the best way to address this matter would be for you to go to the place yourself. Then you will see that what I have described to you is true. I suppose you would not suggest such a thing if you had lied to me. But you are right. I need to see for myself what secrets this place hides. Oh. I think it's safe to warn. I would also like to inform you that a member of the Ordo Luminis was part this is of the necessary. expedition. We he need tried a several times to sabotage it, even killing many of his colleagues for it. And finally, he attacked us as we were preparing to join San Mateus. You'd have thought that the remaining members of the Order would go to such extremes, but I fear I these would. attacks are just a reflection of what will happen if your discoveries are made public. Your Eminence. We are faced with a crucial choice. I maybe for should our have nation. appealed to her faith. What does a man of faith do in such a dilemma? He prays and places his trust in the one who came before him and has shown more wisdom. Saint Matthias shows us a new way. If we are believers, can we really turn our backs on him? You surprise me, Petrus. You who are always so political, yet your words seem sincere. You give me something to think about. Thank you. And later if we're going to blackmail you. If my people knew that the great sage they had long respected is the same man as your saint, and that your priests respected our culture as he did, they would be welcomed here as brothers. And the Eden we wanted to build would be everywhere. You speak sense, princess. Does anyone wish to add anything? Ah. Uh... The Revelations of St. Lucius. Oh, let's mention the weight of such a secret. I don't want to mention the Revelations of St. Lucius. I think that would be a... Mm, I'm not practicing what I preach if I do that. I understand your doubts about the future, which are inevitably caused by such a revelation. You hesitate just as St. Lucius did to tell us about the journey of his master. Yet in the end, he okay. revealed what he knew, and his words still guide to Leme today. Thank you for your testimony. I will now retire to think about everything and make my decision. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was. After careful consideration, I have decided that it is my duty to reveal your discoveries to the world. It will take years for our theologians to study all of this, but our dogma must follow the path opened by Saint Matthias. Thank you, Your Eminence. I would be delighted to help with the study of these relics. I don't doubt it, my dear. And I would like you to take me to see this cave. I look forward to worshipping at the place where our holy founder ended his days. As for you, Your Excellency, I thank you for the help you have given us. Your sincere insight has encouraged me to make this difficult decision. It was my pleasure. And now Let I'm going to blackmail you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Without you, we would still be in the shadows. Oh. oh. And I didn't have to do this, and I have to do it now so I can clear the thing. Lady de Sade, and you, Petrus, what can I do for you? 
We have come to offer our support. We have learned that the arena was cruel to you. How do you know that? Oh, I see. You tricked my informer. We just let him believe that I would lose. All I did was take the place of your moneylender. You owe me a handsome sum. All of this just to make me spill the beans, am I right? I didn't expect you to play this kind of game, Your Excellency. It is true, though, that with such a teacher... Oh, come on, Cornelia. You excel at this game. It's true. And I also know when to <laughs> admit defeat. What do you want from me? We won't use what we know of you, nor what you owe us. So long as you act loyally towards the Congregation and Constantine. Is that clear? Is that what you're expecting? Ah, uh, but I'm sure that this sly old fox I get the feeling these two have been doing life. this a long time. Right? You hope that I'll support you when you court the rank of Cardinal? You haven't learnt your lesson, then. Have you forgotten the abyss into which you plunged because of your ambition last time? Petrus, what's she talking about? Cornelia, you don't have the right to use that against me to disclose what I revealed to you that day. It was said under the seal of the Enlightened, it's true. But if someone deserves to know, it's her. No, please. Since you have no intention of speaking, I will. Petrus oh, knew no. your mother, child. Your real mother. Oh my goodness. My, my mother? Petrus, is it true? How? Be damned, Cornelia. It's true. Okay. I knew your mother. Suddenly, I used to go the to the jail to give my spiritual support to the prisoners of the Prince d'Orsay. That's where I met her. She was alone, afraid, and exhausted. I'm not comfortable and with this. so strange. Obviously, I had no way of knowing that she came from here. The princes kept their secret well. Why didn't you tell me about it? You know that my uncle lied to me, and you kept quiet. I... I was ashamed. Ashamed of having left her to die in that dead-end pit. Completely alone. Why talk to others about it, then? Why does she know? One evening, in a fit of despair, Petrus felt the need to share this great burden with someone. At the time, you were the ear of the enlightened, Cornelia. You have broken your vows. Ah, oh, damnation! It's better out in the open. I've wanted to tell you about it since I met you. Now that you know, I want to do something in her memory. I will help you find your family here on the island. The prince sent you here to use you. But I can ensure that all of this serves a purpose. How could I possibly believe you now? You have used me for your scheming and have kept me in the dark. I understand how you feel, my child. Let's wait a little until you've taken it all in. Time heals the wounds of the soul. Come back and see me when you are ready. As for you, Cornelia, remember what we have on you. You no longer have the upper hand. Be careful, Desade. You now see the real Petrus, sly and opportunistic. Okay. Well, I know we've already run long. But I am having an urge to get Petrus out of my... Um... Whew, out of my party. And then I want to move on to a different game for a little bit. Oh, we're almost to level 26. Okay. 
on the one hand, I'm glad I took that mission. On the other hand, I'm not terribly excited with the revelations. Okay. Compose your team. Petrus, remove. Afra, add to the team. Does anybody have things? No. Nobody has things they want me to do. So the next thing we have to do is a main quest mission. Or we could do these missions and these missions which actually we're getting fairly well set up on we need one more camp in San Mateus five in that place and we've only found a couple notes interesting okay and we have these these. I don't want to kill foxes. I, I, I'm not going to kill foxes. Huh. Okay. We'll have to look into this. Anyway, I'm going to save and end that. And talk to y'all later. Bye.